dark red. Something velvety, but I'm not entirely sure what color velvet. Maybe not this color, maybe something blue velvet. How's that? I strongly believe that uh, in a city like Zurich to have uh, two very important institutions like Tonhalle uh, Orchestra uh, and the Open House and the Philharmonia Zurich Orchestra should be important for Zurich as a city to have uh, a project uh, that we share. I felt that since we are here in Zurich and since Jean Andrea is a very good friend of mine and we have a a perfect opportunity to create a real um, relationship and, and it would also be very, very good for Zurich. It would be very good for both of our orchestras and organizations and would most importantly bring some very much needed light and a spotlight to the arts in Zurich. Both orchestras are of incredible quality. Of course, the Philharmonia Zurich, uh, being more an operatic orchestra, has a certain element of flexibility that is connected with the singers, that uh, is particularly connected with, with it, with the Philharmonia Zurich. I think that the basic DNA is different. So each orchestra brings something new from their own world to the symphonic repertoire. And I think that this is the difference. I think that there is a lot of music that is quite modern. That music perhaps <clears throat> gets a little bit less airplay now. And especially that's why I love the third symphony. I love the fourth piano concerto. Um, I love the bells. You know, the, 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 there's so many things that, that are totally wonderful, but one couldn't say that he had one style. He, the style was evolving, like with all the great composers. Rachmaninoff is more modern than expected. He was, of course, in the tradition of the late Romanticism in Russia, but the way he developed his composing during the years, if you consider, for instance, Prince Rotislav, one of the first pieces and uh, symphonic dances, there is a huge development, and yet you can recognize the same voice. So how to be modern and being connected with your roots? But definitely, Rachmaninoff is a 20th century composer. How you could uh, live uh, the life you lived, being uh, number one pianist, incredible conductor, stupendous composer, and traveling back and forward. One uh, thing I'd like to congratulate him with is his villa in Luzerne. I think it is one of the most mystical, magical places. It has the most obvious, calm feeling of Rachmaninoff still being there. Nothing. I wouldn't cook anything for him. I, I, I would feel too much responsibility for, for future generations. I would ask Gian Andrea to cook something. Hmm. Something uh, very tasteful, not spicy, but with a lot of flavor. Maybe yeah, risotto with sausages uh, and saffron onion and uh, just a white wine in cooking. So just to have a full, full flavors as uh, his music, no? full of flavors, full, full of also elements of Orientalism, but uh, translated in the Western world. Uh, so also saffron, uh, you know, coming from that part of the world, but used here. So to find uh, some dishes uh, that uh, brings together different culture. Gian Andrea, do you like to sing?
So. No, I don't sing because um, I don't have a beautiful voice. I always do a sort of uh, background noise when I conduct, something like uh, constant. It, it, it's even detectable in the recordings. I hate that. Why you don't cook for me as I did for you twice? This is something that, that I have to answer because he's such a good cook. Last time we ate in his house, I have a video of it, of him cooking. And after seeing that video, I realized that he will never see me cook because first of all, I don't want to be responsible for poisoning a great conductor. The second is that with all the love for food, I have never managed to learn how to cook other than maybe boil eggs or I can do a breakfast perhaps, but that's about it. So he's lucky that we, he hasn't eaten my food, that he's still alive. The height. He is a handsome, tall man and I would love to be that tall among many other things. I would like from Pavo to learn uh, anything because he has a perfect control of the orchestra. He has uh, the fire inside. He can communicate easily with the hands. Uh, he is uh, absolutely a full range musician. So I think uh, I would like to steal something from him, but I don't know what because he does everything very well. No, no tips for uh, one of the colleagues uh, I respect, I appreciate more, and also a friend. No, 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 no suggestions. Pavo, go and enjoy. Yes, I have a tip. Uh, be who you are and don't do anything differently because he's a charming and uh, wonderful musician. Just come there and feel at home. Mm -hmm.